Good morning, ZCHS. I'm Logan. And I'm Rhea. And, and this, this is, is the Harbinger, Harbinger Headlines. Headlines. Senior of the Week this week is Santiago Aguilar, nominated by Mr. Warner. He said Santiago has taken almost every business class there is at ZCHS and continues to have a desire to learn more. He enters every room with a big smile on his face and he is always ready to talk about business. Last spring, he participated in ZCHS's first Shark Pond event and pitched a creative twist to a vacation tour company. Santiago's energy for business and the positive way he expresses himself makes him an excellent candidate for Senior of the Week. Congratulations, Santiago. Please go to the administration office to get your prize. Now to Mary and Kaylee with What's for Lunch. Yeah, and then she actually got arrested because she didn't do her taxes. What? Mm -hmm. I thought she was a veterinarian. She's both. Wait, wait. What? My lunch senses. They're tingling. <gasps> Mine are too. Oh Someone needs to know the lunch. Let's go. Let's go. Hmm. I wonder what's for lunch today. Oh my gosh. I was just asking what was for lunch and you guys appeared. Well, that's good because I'm Mary. And I'm Kaylee. And, and we're, we're the, the gals who know a bunch about your lunch. lunch. Today for lunch, we have chef's choice. With sides of home fries, fruit cocktail, and to drink some nutritious milk. Sounds delicious. If you don't want that, you can also have a choice of protein pack or peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Bon appetit! Thanks, Mary and Kaylee. The final day to have your senior yearbook portrait taken with Cripe Photography is October 15th. All seniors must have a Cripe yearbook portrait session to be included in the yearbook. You can schedule an appointment at cripephoto.com. Tickets for the fall musical Into the Woods are available now on the PAC website. The performances will be on November 11th, 12th, and 13th. Now to Jack with sports. Hey Eagles, we had another very successful week in sports. Our boys tennis team had their regional matches this past week. They beat Weave on the first round of sectionals and also beat Avon in the sectional championship. Way to go guys. Also, our boys varsity soccer team had their sectional games this week against Westfield and North Central and won those games 3-0 and 3-1. Tomorrow, they travel to Westfield for their sectional final. Game starts at 2 p.m. and we hope to see you guys there. In other news, our girls varsity volleyball team took on North Central and lost 3-0, but bounced back with a win versus Garen in four sets. Yesterday, our girls varsity volleyball team also took on Avon and our boys tennis team had their regional match versus Burbuff. Here are the results for those games. And don't forget to go out and support your Eagles. Thanks, Jack. The last varsity football home game of the regular season and senior night is tonight at 7 p.m. Tonight's theme is Pink Out to raise awareness for breast cancer. There will be a limited number of pink cowbells and pink boomsticks for the first fans in the stands. And the first 200 fans will also receive pink pom-poms. Now, here's Medical Club with their Pi Your Teacher fundraiser. I'm Ibrahim. And I'm Hannah. And we're a part of the Medical Club. This year, our Medical Club has raised $600 in fundraising to help buy socks for Afghan refugees in Camp Atterbury. The Afghan refugees went, just went through a traumatic experience. They lost almost everything they knew in Afghanistan, and now they've come to the U.S. as refugees, trying to get some stability back in their lives. Most of them are just went in the clothes that they came in many weeks ago, and most of the kids don't even have shoes. So every donation that you all gave really makes a difference. If you're having your heart to help the cause, then I have a, a GoFundMe that you can share and donate to if you want to keep up. Thank you so much for your donations, and we would also like to give a big thanks to Mr. Cushenberry, Mr. Moser, and Mr. East for being willing to get pied in the face for your donations. Three, two, one. National Chess Day. Why shouldn't you ever play chess with a British person? Because their queen never dies. Have, have a great, great fall break, break and, and thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching. We're the Zionsville Chess Club and have, have a wondrous break! break.